assalamu alaikum i am abu zair rafai and topic of our learning today is pharmacy definitions this is basically from your practical lab work before you prepare different form of uh, drug preparations you have to know the definition and before you prescribe any any drug you have to know the definitions and uh, which in which form uh, they are prepared okay moving on to the uh, our learning objectives today are that at the end of lecture you will have a command over different kinds of drug preparations and along with that you have to know the routes and uh, we'll we'll study different forms of drugs such as solid drug liquids drugs given through the parenteral route like injections infusions and uh, drugs given through respiratory passages like inhalation sprays and gases and drugs uh, which are which are <clears throat> applied over the skin such as ointments and creams and uh, drugs which are absorbed or apply over the mucous membranes like mouthwash and gargle etc uh, these are some liquid forms of drugs uh, you can see the um, syrup here, elixir here, and suspension. For uh, codeine, codeine phosphate syrup, this is also used for. For linctus here, you can see is also used for cough codeine linctus. Although linctus and syrups have different purposes, syrup has a wide range of purposes, but linctus is really used for cough. Next is solid form of drugs. These contain tablets, capsules, powders, and granules. Suppositories here are also a solid form of drug, but we'll discuss it in the uh, rectal root drugs. So, tablet. Tablet, uh, a tablet, as you all know, tablet is a basically compact product with medicine is in compressed or molded form. They are usually circular or flat or concave surfaces and uh, example you know very well capsule capsule consists of medicines enclosed in shell made of gelatin so uh, outer capsule of the outer outer capsule is basically made up of gelatin outer shell they are convenient for medicines having an unpleasant taste so that um, outer layer is provided for provided of the gelatin and uh, no taste is perceived pills are spherical or ovoid masses containing one or more medicines for example phenoxylin compound pills powders are mixture of two or more medicines and finally divided form intended for internal use these are also uh, these are all intended for internal use tablets capsules pills and powders as well next is drugs given through parenteral route that is intravenous infusion uh, dextrose infusion next are drugs given rectally these are enemas and suppositories um, Animals are basically aqueous or oily solutions or suspensions. And these are used for, are used for constipation, but also used for anti-inflammatory uh, properties. Next is drug given through um, respiratory passages. Inhalations. Inhalations are basically liquid preparations. These are composed of volatile ingredients which are vaporized and they come in contact with the lining of respiratory tract and produce their effects. Aerosols mm, contain a solution of medicine in a mixture of inert propellants so, so that they, they propel the particles and uh, hit the surface, for example, pharyngeal surface or, or uh, or uh, low respiratory tract which is held uh, and these are held under pressure in an aerosol dispenser 
for example salbutamol aerosol um, very commonly used for asthma next is sprays these are preparations of medicines in aqua aqua solution alcohol or glycerol and they are applied to nose or throat next is drugs given through skin or mucous membranes uh, these are ointments creams lotions drops and mouthwash mouthwash uh, we use it for um, mucous membrane and rest are, um, as well as drops and rest are applied to skin ointments are semi solid preparations while cream is a viscous emulsion of semi solid uh, constituents so these are both are semi solids semi solids but uh, cream is a viscous emulsion and ointment is uh, not as viscous as cream is so next is lotions lotions are liquid preparations intended intended for applications to the skin and these are applied with the brush or or simply with the uh, the hand drops drops are entered into uh, uh, intended for administration into eyes ears and nose and these are also absorbed in to the mucous membranes mouthwash is mm, very commonly used preparation Next is vaginal pastries. These are solid bodies. These are accordingly shaped for vaginal administration and they contain drugs intended for local tissues. For example, nystatin. Nystatin is used for vaginitis so, so that it doesn't produce any effect over the system, systemic circulation. This is all. Thank you very much.